What is up guys, I'm Russell and I'm back in for another video. Uh, this video is going to be my Elimination Chamber pay-per-view review. Uh, pay-per-view just ended like uh, 20 minutes ago, I'd say. And uh, overall, i got to say, great pay-per-view by WWE. Really enjoyed it. I was uh, live tweeting during the show. So uh, now, I'm just going to run down every single match and uh, review it for you guys. But, uh, get, well, the first match technically of the whole show, well, the pre-show... You had Rhodes and Sandow versus Bros Clay and Tensai. Now, I didn't even get to watch this match because for some reason the pre-show is not working on my laptop. So I did not watch this match, so I can't review that for you. But all I know is Bros Clay and Tensai won, which I honestly think was probably not even a match to watch anyway. So I don't really care that I missed it. But uh, moving on to the actual pay-per-view now. Opening match was Alberto Del Rio versus The Big Show for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I thought this was a really, uh, not a really good match, but a good match. Uh, it started off a little slow, picked up near the end. Uh, Del Rio kind of botched, uh, and then Seguri, when Big Show had, like, the bucket, like, he, Del Rio, Ricardo Rodriguez, the bucket he's been bringing, uh, he, he had that, but Del Rio slipped off the ropes, but I didn't care, whatever. I mean, I don't know how Big Show didn't realize that Del Rio smacked against the mat, but, uh, whatever, he just got back up, did it, and Seguri, the bucket right into Big Show's head, and then, uh, right after that, I believe it was the cross arm breaker. And uh, Del Rio retained the title. Big Show tapped out. Dolph Ziggler did not cash in, so whatever. I guess Ziggler will either cash in at Mania or sometime before, which will probably be at Mania. I'm not sure. But whatever. Good opening match by Del Rio and the Big Show. Next, yeah, Antonio Cesaro versus the Ministry of the United States Championship. Uh, this was a good, it was a little bit longer, I think, maybe by a couple minutes. Longer than their uh, pre show Royal Rumble match. But, uh,. Ending came, Cesaro didn't beat Miz with a pinfall victory. Uh, Miz had, was going for the figure four, but Cesaro, I think he like kicked him off and Miz like slipped or whatever, hit his knee, his knee hit uh, Antonio Cesaro uh, down low, and Cesaro was telling the ref, and the ref DQ'd Miz, and uh, Cesaro retained after the match, Miz attacked uh, Cesaro, and uh, so good match here, Cesaro retains, still US champ. Uh, not not the biggest fan of the ending. I'm not sure if they're going to continue this rivalry. Hopefully they just end it all wrong. And Cesaro moves on to something else for Mania. Like a Raw or SmackDown match or something. But I don't know. But good match here. Uh, yeah. And then next up. It sounded like somebody banging on the door or something out there. Alright, next up was the Elimination Chamber match. To crown the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 29. Uh, participants in this match. Randy Orton, Mark Henry, Kane, Daniel Bryan. Uh, Jack Swagger and Chris Jericho. Now the order of the entrance for the Chamber match went like this. Daniel Bryan, Chris Jericho, Jack Swagger, Kane, Randy Orton, and Mark Henry. And the uh, order of eliminations was, uh, here we go. Daniel Bryan was eliminated by Mark Henry, I believe, by the World's Strongest Slam. Kane was next, also by Mark Henry by the World's Strongest Slam. Then came Mark Henry, I believe Swagger hit a big boot, Jericho hit coat breaker, and uh, Orton hit, hit him with an RKO. And that's how Mark Henry got eliminated. Next week's Chris Jericho. And uh, here's where it started getting hot near the end. RKO to Jericho, pretty much. One, two, three, wins it. Right after Orton beats Jericho, Jack Swagger rolls up Orton. One, two, three. I was like, what? I, I couldn't believe it. Jack Swagger, ladies and gentlemen, has won the Elimination Chamber match and is going to WrestleMania 29 to face Alberto Del Rio. I know, I was saying on Twitter, like, this was kind of ridiculous. I did not want to see Jack Swagger win. But thinking about it now, uh, a little bit, a couple hours later pretty much, I think it will be a good match. Not a title match that I'll really be interested in for WrestleMania, but it'll, it should be good. So, I, and Jack Swagger, had, you know what, they're pushing a new guy. I mean, I'd rather see Dolph Ziggler in there since he has been the one that they've been pushing for the world title scene lately. Well, pretty much since, you know, he's got the world title briefcase, so he's got to be the guy. But they're pushing Swagger for Mania, I guess, and uh, whatever. Yeah, there's your first WrestleMania main event that we uh, found out so far that evening was Jack Swagger and Alberto Del Rio for the world title at WrestleMania 29. So, uh, <clears throat> whatever there, Swagger's going to Mania. Great chamber match, though, all I can say. It was a great match. Lasted like a half hour. Had real fun with this match. Orton took a... a Mark Henry just chucked Orton right through the pod. It sound was like crazy. Orton looked like he got killed. Orton was laying in the pod for like <clears throat> like five minutes. And uh, it was a just great match. Great stuff. Great chamber match. Uh, next you have the Shield. Roman Reigns, uh, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins versus the, uh, the Super Team. 
of John Cena, Ryback, and Sheamus. This is a pretty pretty good six-man tag team match. They did a spot. Roman Reigns spearing Sheamus through the, the barricade, which was pretty sick. Roman Reigns' spear is just sick in general, but Roman Reigns took out Sheamus, and then uh, ending came. Ry no, Cena hit the attitude adjustment on Dean Ambrose. Ryback had uh, Seth Rollins up for... What's he called? Uh, I totally forgot. Shell Shock. And then Roman Reigns runs in, spears Ryback, and then Sh Seth Rollins pins him. And I don't know if... I couldn't... T you can't tell by the camera angles if Cena attacked Roman Reigns or Roman Reigns is like holding Cena back. But either way, Seth Rollins pinned Sheamus and the Shield won, which I was surprised about. But I'm not complaining. I'm a fan of the Shield. So even though Cena's not looking strong coming out of this paper, I don't really think it hurts. So either way... You know, it's a win-win out of this. Cena doesn't really look bad anyway, and they're pushing the shield, so it's good. Which, this actually put me in a better mood, because at the time, I was not really in that good of a mood that Swagger won, but the shield winning put me in a better mood. But, uh, again, thinking about it now, Swagger and Del Rio should be good. And, uh, shield won, so I was happy. Uh, next, Dolph Ziggler came out to cut a promo, basically said he just, you know, left off the Elimination Chamber card. Booker T came out, said, uh, he's now in a match against a guy that... Pretty much can do everything Dolph Ziggler can do and more, which is uh, not no, just that's a lie. But uh, Kofi Kingston came out. He had a match with Alberto Del Rio, and uh, this I mean not Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler, and uh, this match it was it was only like five minutes. Ziggler beat Kofi, and then after the match, uh, Biggie Langston laid out Kofi, and that, that was pretty much it. Whatever match here, uh, Ziggler beat Kofi, and uh, looking strong, so good. Uh, next was the Divas Championship match, Caitlyn versus Tamina Snuka. Uh, this was whatever Divas match. I was honestly just getting a drink and you know, using the bathroom doing this time. But uh, Caitlyn won, that's all I know. And whatever match. And then you got the main event for the WWE Championship, The Rock versus CM Punk. Great match. I love this match. Love this match even more than the Rumble match. Now, the Rumble match was good, but I think this match was great. Um, funny, funny part, you know, last month, Rock tried going for the for the uh, <clears throat> rock bottom to punk through the announce table and the announce table collapsed before they even hit the move. This month, punk hit the rock bottom on the rock on the announce table and the announce table didn't even break. So uh, I guess they can't get the uh, way to make these announce tables right. But uh, whatever, you know, you know, it was just a whatever. I I didn't let it bother me. <laughs> it was like all right, table didn't break. Who cares? But uh, just great match. I love this match. The refs get refs were getting knocked out. Uh, spot came. Uh, both now a ref got knocked out, then another one got knocked out. So Punk p pretty much told Paul Heyman to get the WWE title. Heyman gave Punk the belt. Uh, Punk Paul Heyman was holding Rock back. Punk went to hit Rock with the title, but Rock ducked. He hit Heyman. Uh, Punk turns around. Rock bottom, and that was it. Rock is uh, going to WrestleMania 29 to defend the WWE Championship against John Cena twice in a lifetime. But I don't really care whether it's once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime. I don't care. But uh. It's, it's going to be good. Rock and Cena rematch. It's it's going to be good. You know, was that all those people out here like, oh, it's, it's supposed to be once in a lifetime. Like, you're, you're going to watch WrestleMania and you're going to like the match. So just shut up. So you're just making yourself look stupid. But there you go. Rock Rock and Cena 2 at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio and Jack Swagger for the World Heavyweight Championship. And yeah, so Elimination Chamber. Great pay-per-view by WWE. Uh, definitely gonna get this when it comes out. I'm actually trying to get the Royal Rumble on Tuesday because I'm trying to get all the pay per views from this year. But uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for now. And uh, real quick, just a video is definitely coming tomorrow. It will be a huge update. My uncle came down to watch the Elimination Chamber today. I ended, we ended up writing it on the TV right there, watched it in my room. And he hooked me up with a ton of recorded VHS tapes and a t shirt, which I will show in a video tomorrow. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my Illumination Chamber, uh, <coughs> sorry, Illumination Chamber review, and I'm actually thinking about doing not only the big update tomorrow, but uh, a WrestleMania early thoughts uh, video. So whatever. So I guess that's it for now. This is my Illumination Chamber thoughts review, uh, match by match rankings in the description box, like always. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.